Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. Oscar Bevis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I was going to say delighted to be joined by, I suppose I am delighted to be joined by Hannah Rankin, the unluckiest person in the bubble. Um, stupid question, Hannah, how are we? I'm a bit devastated, to be honest. Like, I just, everything was going so smoothly, you know, and, and actually all things considered, but, you know, with the COVID and everything like that, my training camp's gone fantastically. Uh, I was on point. I did my check weighing in the morning, exactly where I wanted to be, and I was just flying, you know. And then suddenly I did the check weigh in, and then literally probably 25 minutes later, I get a phone call from a manager, and it's the worst thing. And that was the only thing that was going to derail this fight. So, yeah, I was a bit kind of like... I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I was gutted. Where were you, were you when you got this phone call? Was you in your room and sort of tell me your obviously disappointment and sadness and whatnot? Um, but yeah, tell me your first sort of reaction. I can imagine just gutted. I don't know. Yeah, like I picked up, I, Sam was phoning me and like he's my manager, so I was like, oh, he knows that I've just done a great check way and I've texted him. He knows like everything's great. So why is he phoning me? And I had that horrible sinking feeling, you know, like just like, oh my God, it's going to be something. And uh, I think I definitely was, uh, yeah, swearing on the phone. <laughs> I won't repeat it right now, but yeah, no, I was just like, oh, come on. Like, I just couldn't believe it. And I was like, as, does that mean that we can't do it if he's tested positive and I own the states like if your coach tests positive but you don't then you can still fight um, but obviously the board have made it here that if anyone in that team tests positive then that's it and I was just like my stomach just dropped I was like god so yeah that was my reaction really do you know when people say things are too good to be true? Like, you know, you said your camp was perfect because yeah. I don't think anyone's had the smoothest camp of their career but you said your camp was perfect that too good to be true yeah yeah Exactly. And you know, like, it's, it's always that thing, like that feeling, you know, I woke up in the morning and I was like, are we going to get out of this room eventually? And like, everything has just gone really well. And I had that sort of, I had a weird niggly feeling in the morning, you know, and I thought, I said, everything's going well, so, something's going to go wrong, you know. And um, yeah, it's like that too good to be true thing, because the camp has gone exceedingly well for me, uh, all things considered. Normally, I'd have to, I'd be going abroad for sparring partners for things. And I, I've just been working with the guys for this one, so I had some fantastic people to work with. So yeah, no, uh, I kind of felt like something was going to go wrong, you know. So yeah. Well, obviously, I, as soon as I heard the news, I f first thing I thought was obviously, well, wishes to Peter and team, but Absolutely. try and grab Peter and see how he's feeling, talk about the whole situation with him via Zoom possibly and then talk to you as well and then they said you're staying in the bubble. I mean, I would have thought that you'd see it now as disappointment, you go home and you can't really stand being around everyone who's about to fight but I mean, you're sticking out, you're still here so uh, how comes? Well, basically, um, like I always try and look on the positive side of things. I mean, obviously this is like the worst situation that probably could have happened. Um, but my best mate, Ellie Scott, he's fighting um, on the Saturday and Matchroom were like, you know, if you want to stay and watch the fights, you can. And, you know, I wasn't actually going to get to see her debut being on the same card, I think. And uh, it's like a blessing in disguise. So now I'm actually going to be one of the few people in the UK that's actually here live for her debut. So I'm taking that as positive and just going to be here to support her all the way and hope she smashes it you know so yeah yeah another fight that a uh, female fight we're looking forward to on the card and now unfortunately the only one but uh, let's not dwell have you spoken to Eddie have you spoken to Frank um, your team have you got anything planned penciled I know they'll have to quarantine for 14 days so it's quite hard to put something set in stone but have you spoken about a potential date already um, no we've not spoken about a specific date there's obviously a lot of cards coming up um, and They've said they're, des they're definitely going to be rescheduling it. So that's a real positive. They can't confirm which one yet. And like you said, the, the isolation thing, the quarantine thing is obviously going to come into play. So it will really just depend when they can fix that um, and get a date in the diary. But um, it's good to hear that they're keen to reschedule it. I think there's been a lot of um, good kind of publicity about this fight and people are really excited about watching it. Um, so I just can't wait to get back in there, you know. I speak to like Joe Laws, Lewis Ritz and that, and they say they're, getting that strength that they never feel as good as they feel this week is the strongest they feel the best they feel for you you get that feeling then you have to come back down back up is, is this actually putting you on the back foot and inadvertently putting things in savannah's favor i suppose when you do get in the ring 
Uh, no, I don't think so. Like for me, basically, I fought in February. I was one of the lucky fighters to fight then. Um, had a fantastic performance and then obviously went into lockdown and I was really lucky to have the opportunity to be able to still train with my coach during lockdown. We had a space, a private space, and I basically ran it like we, you know, we were training and then we'd work towards a goal. Then we'd have a little break, then work towards another goal. So I'm just seeing this as another one of those breaks in the sort of like the weird COVID scenario. Um, and then we go again. So for me, it's, it's no difference. I'm still 100% focused on job in hand and really excited about bringing that title home to Scotland. So yeah, my focus hasn't wavered. I haven't changed my diet since I found out. I'm still eating the same things because I was like, you know, we, we could find out we're on a really a card really soon. So yeah, I'm, I'm still focused. So it's all good. I thought you've allowed yourself a cheeky G&T or something, but no. have you done any angry bag hitting? I bet you've done some yeah. head down, teeth gritted, smash in the bag. Absolutely. Uh, mm. Poor... Uh, my coach, Noel Callan, and Gary Jacobs, who's also here in my corner, the pair of them, I took it out in the bags and the pads with them yesterday. So uh, they, they they felt my uh, anger, I think, to be honest. So uh, um, lucky them. But, you know, you have to get it out and you, you're, you're like peaking for that moment. So you've got to kind of let some of that energy out, relax a little bit, and then get ready to go again. So um, it's nothing new for me, but it is just a bit, dis you know, totally disappointing, to be honest. So. I suppose just finally, if we're going to look at the positives, it increases the publicity around the fight I suppose um but yeah, hopefully next time no actual positive no positive tests and whenever it is November December even if it has to be early 2021 hopefully you and Savannah can finally uh, touch gloves absolutely the the main goal is to get it done this year I think everybody, it's, we've been on a collision course since February um so it's got to happen this year if, for, for if nothing for like me and Savannah but for the fans as well so um yeah no fingers crossed and here's hoping in these dodgy times but yeah well, hopefully everything all goes smoothly and we'll get that second date in the diary ASAP is your debt causing you sleepless nights Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.